G'day, I'm Tech. This is my channel Bootlosophy, and today I'm unboxing the Grant Stone Diesel Boot in their Saddle Tan Veg Tanned Leather. <laughs> my new uh, Grant Stone boot which has arrived today. It took about nearly four weeks from order which um, I, I, I specifically asked it to be delivered to my post office box so they couldn't use UPS and they used uh, USPS which in connecting with Australia Post possibly uh, uh, contributed to the delay. Um, but look in today's COVID related world I, I don't think that's too bad no, I didn't mind waiting for it. I'm always impressed by Grant Stone's attention to detail. Their packaging uh, is superb. I've already opened it, but I haven't taken it out yet. Um, and I just wanted to show you that in the shipping box, there is the actual boot box. And it has a little finger pull hole so that you can pull it out from the side rather than um, opening the box that way as most shoe manufacturers would have you do. So that's the box and the attention to detail goes to the box as well because they create this little inset so that the lid sits flush uh, uh, and has no edges. And when you open it, as usual, it comes with a little postcard um, that tells you about the initial fit, um, a QR code to visit the thread on Style Forum. Uh, uh, and some instructions about the initial fit. There's a thank you card that always accompanies their boots. This is my second Grantstone boot, so this is starting to feel a bit familiar. Uh, it's uh, signed by the person, I guess, who inspected it or packed it. I, I can't quite read the signature, but it might be Parker, perhaps. The Grantstone packaging always comes with this, um, I'm not quite sure what you call it. Is it a polishing cloth? Some people have said it's a sort of cloth you put on the floor so that you can stand on it without damaging the sole in case you have to send it back. I'll pull it out in a minute and show you what the cloth is like. It comes with a little packet that should include, yes it does, it includes the signature um, shoehorn and bottle opener. Although to be honest I think it's probably better as a bottle opener than a shoehorn because I'm not quite sure the depth of that horn. And also inside is a second pair of laces, in this case uh, flat wax cotton. Let me just check that it is a second pair. Yes, it is. There are laces on the boot. And Grandstone is another one where, uh, although each boot is wrapped in its own boot bag, they always ship it with a piece of foam in between the two boots just to, I guess, stop them knocking around. Each one is in its own boot bag, and this is what I mean by the polishing cloth come stand on to test cloth. I mean it's not quite sure what the use is but it's very pretty. Let's take a look at the boots themselves. This is a pair of um, their diesel boot in saddle tan veg. So this is vegetable tanned leather from the Italian Badalassi tannery. First impressions is the smell hits you. Really, there's nothing like veg tan leather. It's lined, so it feels really smooth inside. It's actually a surprisingly um, firm leather. My other Grant Stone boot is a suede from Charles F. Stead in Leeds, so that's very soft. Uh, this has a leather sole. Some people don't like leather soles. I, I really do like them. They will scuff. They will get dirty, they will get pretty ugly, but I think a leather sole is quite different in the sense of its feel, uh, in the sense of um, the breathability and suppleness, uh, and yeah, perhaps you might need to put a, a sole protector, a little half sole on there, but I do like that colour. It's got a, uh, a leather midsole. Uh, and the welt is, I think this might be a, a split reverse welt because it comes up the sides but it doesn't have a second stitch so it's not a Norwegian welt. Stack leather heel with a rubber insert. It's not the most 
expendable soul in the world. So break-in will be interesting, although the inside, the full leather insole and leather all the way through, I think it's going to be quite nice. Um, Close-up detail. It's a lovely colour. Apart from the smell, the first thing you notice is that colour. It's a mid-tan. Um, I know growing up my father used to have British tan boots and they kind of look this colour. Really nice. Um, leather laces in the boot and I showed you the earlier spare cotton laces. Grant Stone on the inside. And more detail on the leather sole. Not particularly bendable, but we shall see on foot, which I think is probably the next thing I'm going to try straight away to see what they look like on foot. I hope you enjoyed that unboxing video. If you did, please click on the like button below. And while you're there, please click on the subscribe button because what I do is I'll wear these boots for a longer period of time over several months, make sure they're properly broken in and I understand the ins and outs of the boot. And then I'll bring you a longer term review video about the style and aesthetic, the construction, the actual uh, boot maker and uh, how I found wearing them. So keep in touch. And I'll see you soon.